Hey everyone, and it looks like it's time for another review once again, this time being Sony's Venom Let There Be Carnage directed by Andy Serkis starring Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams and Woody Harrelson. This is a sequel to the first Venom which came out in 2018 and since this is a Marvel movie, I won't say much but I'm going to be straightforward with you all on what I did and didn't like about it. First off, what I liked, Tom Hardy as probably every review will say, he did a great job in this as he did in the first one. A few of the fight scenes were alright. A joke here and there were also funny. So now this gets into, well, what I didn't like. I was completely unimpressed by this one in many ways. First off, Sony missed a major opportunity to make this rated R with lots of violence, blood, curse words among other things and give Carnage an amazing backstory. I'm here to tell you they struck out on all of that. They could had done something insanely special with this movie and they screwed up big time because I guess they cared more about target audiences and making money more than making a movie that every comic book fan imaginable would have wanted an R-rated movie. Next, I'm going to talk about the comedy aspect of it. 90% of the comedy in this not only didn't land, but it was awkwardly timed, not funny and completely unnecessary. We didn't need a Venom movie with almost 100% comedy in it, that's not what we want out of this kind of movie. The violence wasn't really there either for almost all of this movie. No heads being bitten off and whatnot, the camera cuts away because this is a PG-13 movie. It was very toned down, playing it safe kind of movie. Cletus's girlfriend in this was a wasted character who had no backstory to her whatsoever and was a throwaway villain that you don't give a damn about. This film was pretty straight through, not much to plot, simple movie that is as forgettable as some films like Wonder Woman 1984. Eminem's new song in the end credits wasn't great and didn't fit either like the first one did. The only thing, and I'm being serious about this, the only thing that stood out in this movie is the mid-end credits scene that was very very well done and sets up for so much excitement and mystery. Other than that, this is a really bad forgettable mess that I would say, don't bother seeing this in theaters, wait till it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. I'm going to give Sony's Venom Let There Be Carnage a 3.5 out of 10. There is my review, you're welcome.